How's it going, Jedi Knights? This is Shadow the Hero, and I decided to do this today, the movie review for Dawn of Justice. I saw this, I saw the movie on Monday in 3D. It was really good. I saw it with my bro. He's right there watching TV in the living room, so, yeah. And so I figured, ugh. I mean, I was going to go with a couple of friends, and I was planning to make this movie review, but since it was, since our, uh, our play date went, or, <laughs> we couldn't go because, well, my friend got really sick. So, we had to get a rain check, so, I hope you feel better, Jonathan, so, yeah, and, yeah, uh, I decided to do the movie review, but not the spoiler review, so, yeah, it was really good, though, the movie was amazing, I mean, I don't really care if it had that many Rotten Tomatoes, though, because it was awesome, I mean, Wonder Woman was very badass in the movie. Even Batman and Superman. Well, Bat Superman was okay. I mean, I loved the guy since I was a child, though. Right before I knew Batman, so yeah. I liked it when I liked it when the show Doomsday, though, because of uh, well, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor was, was. I mean, it would have been pretty good if they didn't have if they showed Lex Luthor. But like when they showed Doomsday, I got super excited though. But a lot of people are saying that they should have done this without Super without Doomsday. And, and then my friend, uh, he told, I asked him that, why couldn't Lex Luthor create a kryptonite suit like he does in the game, uh, Injustice Gods Among Us? He says that that's how Lex Luthor got cancer in the comics, stuff like that. And, so, yeah. I mean, it was actually pretty cool, though. The movie was amazing. We had a lot of fun. I mean, there was, like, barely people in the auditorium. My friends got so lucky because they had to sit in the front row because the whole thing was filled with people and the day they had to, they went to go see the movie. And I'm like, you guys are lucky. I had to sit in the back row. <laughs> so yeah. And <laughs> that's, they're going to kill me for that. Although, I like that how they, um... They showed Batman's origin, and I'm saying this because they show it in the trailers. They show Batman's origin, how his parents got killed. I mean, but it's just that it kind, it's kind of okay though. I mean, my friend keeps saying that they show it over and over and over and over and over again, because like in every single Batman movie, they show how his parents get killed. Well, except in the Dark Knight trilogy, I mean, they show them one time of how they get killed. And, yeah, it's pretty cool, though, but, eh, I like how they show it many times, but it's just that my friends say that they, they should stop remaking the, their deaths, but all, but I still, I kind of like the movie, though, it was actually really good, I mean, I liked all the cool references they made for the new movie coming out, and the new movies, although, yeah, it was really cool, although the movie was very fun, I mean, I got super excited. I mean, if y'all would go back to my list of videos and watch me and my brother getting ready to go see the movie, I made a second part for that, and I and I accidentally canceled the upload and I del because I deleted the video, and I and then I realized that I needed the video to keep the recorded video in my files in order for it to fully upload. So I was like, ah, oh, it's so stupid. Although it was a really good movie. I loved it. I recommend y'all could watch it. I mean, there's so much drama in the movie. I don't think... Uh, there's a lot of drama. But it's... I mean, they show cool action scenes. Although, my favorite part was, like, when they show the Batmobile. I mean, everyone loves the Batmobile. Even the Bat... Even the Bat... Uh, the Bat signal. The Bat... The Bat signal. It was actually really cool. But I don't see why they didn't, well, I know they didn't show Gordon in the movie. But, sorry guys. But yeah, I'm gonna make a spoiler review soon. I think either next week. Because I thought I could make a surprise for you guys. Although I'm not going to. Hmm. I mean, I like his, uh, I like uh, Batman's mechanized voice. Like, the way how he disguises his voice, I mean, it's actually much more better than him disguising his actual voice. Like, 
how Eve hides his voice by changing his voice by himself. I mean, using a, a mechanized voice from like some some form of microphone. I mean, it's actually much more better though, because so that way. Yeah, <laughs> the movie was really good though. I loved it so much. There's a lot of stuff I want to give off. I don't want to get off my chest, but I don't. I mean, this is a movie review, not a spoiler review. And it's really cool though how Zack Snyder made this movie. I mean, he's the guy who made Man of Steel. And it's so really cool how they put Ben Affleck in it. I mean, I liked it how Ben Affleck was Daredevil, but I mean, yeah. I mean, I liked him in Daredevil, but my friends keep saying that it was a it was a crappy movie, even though it's that's their opinion. Talking, about, I mean, I have my own opinion. I love the Daredevil movie, but it's not about Daredevil. It's about Batman v Superman. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's um, it's all today. So I'll make the spoiler reviews either tomorrow or next week. Don't get your hopes up, or maybe if you want. I mean, yeah, so, yeah. If you like the video, leave a like and and um. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more movie reviews like these. And so yeah, it's gonna—it's actually really cool. I need to make a spoiler review for The Force Awakens. I only made a movie review, so yeah. Uh, follow me on Instagram because I don't uh, post that much on Facebook and Twitter. Ugh, I don't know why. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, please like, subscribe. May the force be with you.